I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from one of our subscribers. I hope its solution will help many others. So we'll look into this inequality which involves quadratic and absolute functions. We need to solve 3 plus x minus x squared greater than absolute value of 2x minus 3. Now whenever you get absolute function involved, you have to always break it down as a piecewise function. So let me rewrite the absolute value of 2x minus 3 as equal to combination of two linear functions which are 2x minus 3 when x is greater than or equal to what makes it 0? 3 over 2. And negative of this, that is negative 2x plus 3. So negative, I've just changed the signs for x less than 3 by 2. So that is how every absolute function should be treated. So this really means that we have to solve inequality in two parts. One, for the interval when x is less than 3 by 2, that is 1.5, and the other, when x is greater than or equal to 3 by 2. So let us take the interval when x is less than 3 by 2 on the left side and x greater than or equal to 3 by 2 on the right side. In that case, we can rewrite the equation as 3 plus x minus x squared. Now, when you're considering the left side of 3 by 2, we have to take the negative of 2x minus 3, which makes it, so the equation will be minus 2x plus 3. Is that clear? Now, when you're considering on the right side, we have to write 2x minus 3 for the absolute value, right? So we get 3 plus x minus x squared greater than 2x minus 3. So these inequalities should be solved and the answer should be within the interval which we are considering. Now I hope it is straightforward. You can pause the video, solve and then check with my solution. Okay, let's keep all these terms to the right side. Reason being, I want to keep the leading coefficient positive. So we get 0 is greater than taking x squared. It becomes this. So we have minus 2x plus 3. I'll do minus 3 and minus x. Now that gives us that 0 is greater than x squared. Minus 2x minus x gives us minus 3x. 3 minus 3 is 0. You can factor this. That means 0 is greater than x is common x minus 3. So we get a parabola which you can now solve for inequalities. So this part is if you sketch how will it look like? So x times x minus 3 will be a parabola which will be kind of like this, right? We want that to be less than 0. That is to say we are looking for this interval. However, we are analyzing only on the left side of 3 by 2, right? So this is 0, this is 3, that is 1.5, correct? So in this interval, the solution which we get is from 0 to 3 by 2, right? 0 to 3 by 2, but not including these, right? So we get this interval from 0 to 3 by 2. That is common between these two. Perfect. So here the solution is that x is greater than 0 and is less than 3 by 2. So I hope this part is clear. Now let's solve the right hand side. So again we'll take them on the right side. So we get 0 is greater than. So we get x square minus x minus 3. We already have 2x minus 3 here. Combining the terms, we get x squared. 2x minus x is plus x. Minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. Now this can be factored. So we could write this as uh, 3 times 2, 3 positive. So we get x plus 3 times x uh, minus 2. 
Now, if you sketch this, sketching becomes easier than finding intervals and then solving. So we get here a parabola which has two zeros, one at minus three, the other one as plus two. So let's say kind of like this, right? So here the zeros are at uh, minus three and at plus two. We are talking about interval which is greater than equal to three by two, right? So that means now we will only consider the solution, not the whole, but from here, including this point to two, right? Since it is greater than, we will not include two. So here we get the solution as x between greater than or equal to 3 by 2 but less than 2. You get an idea. Now combining these two we get our net solution which is that x is between 0 and 2 right. So combine these two to get our solution which is x is greater than 0 and is less than 2. So that is to say it is in between these two values. Correct? So that is how you solve it. You could also do it graphically. So if you graph these two, then what do you get? Let me sketch a simple graph here. Absolute value 2x minus 3 means kind of like this, right? Where the point here is 3 by 2 or 1.5, right? 1.5 or 3 by 2. It seems parabola and this function meet at this point. So the parabola will be, uh, will be kind of like this. It's meeting here. So kind of like this. Right? So this point where they meet is at 2. So the solution is clearly between 0, not including 0, to 2. So that becomes the solution of the inequality. Okay. So you could do it graphically also. This particular equation will have vertex at minus b by 2a, right? So that is at half, 0.5, right? So this vertex will be at 0.5. And when you get, you get a graph which is kind of shown here. So that's an approximate uh, sketch which helps you to understand the information. So the parabola is above the absolute function in this interval which is between 0 and 2. So I hope the method is absolutely clear. Feel free to write comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.